playing Bebe's Kids, or should I say I am playing Bebe's Kids, because Spurgle chickened out and did not want to join me. So this couple of jerks, this duet, is going down to just one jerk, a solo jerk. This is Bebe's Kids for the Super Nintendo. It is balls to the wall hard. I think it's fucking awful, but maybe some other people would like to disagree with me because the only people that would look up a Let's Play of Bebe's Kids would be someone that looks incredibly fondly with rose-tinted glasses back at this piece of, um, I guess you could call it art. It's an expression of some sort. Whether or not it's good art, though, is uh, up to personal discretion. I think it's fucking awful. There's no such thing as a checkpoint in Bebe's Kids. Let me tell you, if you die, you get sent back to the beginning. So, you gotta kind of uh, 1cc this bitch. Yeah. You gotta you gotta get as good as uh, the veteran Metal Slug players. And it just so happens that this is a beat-em-up like Streets of Rage, but every single god Damn, fucking enemy! Takes like 50 hits to kill. So you have to grind out like 50 hits while you only have three minutes on the clock to do all of these things. And it's not, these aren't the only two enemies in the game, even though you would think that they are, considering how many fucking hits they take and how long they take to kill. Look at this, I'm chaining them. Chaining them. I've been punching them for the past 45 seconds. Unabated, might I add. And yet, here's another one to fill in the ranks of the John Lasseter looking ass mouses. I wonder if he would give me a Christian side hug or try to whisper sweet nothings in my ear while I'm working on 3D animation. I don't know. Do you guys think that he actually did it? He kind of seems like the kind of guy that simultaneously really seems like someone that would fucking try and sexually harass women and then at the same time not. You know what I'm saying? Like the Hawaiian shirt and the giant ass goggle glasses and, and the thinning hair kind of a dead giveaway where you're like, yeah, no, 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 for sure. That guy is giving him the Weinstein reach around. But at the same time, you just like hear him. He just sounds like such a goober in interviews. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, this is the CEO of Pixar or, or was before he got ousted. Um, but or the creative director, I don't know what the fuck his role is. He was really high up in Pixar, and he was an executive producer on most 3D animated films from them. In fact, he also did a few Disney ones, like, I think he was an executive producer on, like, Wreck-It Ralph and Planes, that fucking god-awful travesty. Doesn't have even an iota of the artistry that Bebe's Kids for the Super Nintendo has even in one frame of LaShonda's walk cycle. Look at that. That's flavor flay, baby. That's some sprinkle ranch dressing you can put on your salad and take it home to the, the missus, you know? And then she spits it out and then files for divorce because it tastes fucking awful because you brought her powdered ranch. But that's besides the point. It's, it's, it's the intent. You, you wanted to feed your, your pregnant wife powdered ranch. Whether or not she was going to have it is another thing entirely. But you love powdered ranch. I love powdered ranch. It's just that she had different cravings. The little gremlin growing inside her big gestating belly wanted just something a little bit different than powdered ranch and carrots. Well, fuck her. That's why you didn't sign a prenup. Am I right? You said, bitch, leave. Take them bags. I don't give a fuck. I don't need anything but the clothes on my back. Just a little bit of jewelry. A little bit of finger candy. And I'm good. I, you know how I hid that in the divorce? A prenup, yes. That helped. But the lawyer still wanted a few fees. I had to tuck my finger candy into my finger cavity. If you know what I'm saying. But, um... Yeah, we're to the second level of Bebe's kids. I'm not doing terribly. Um, now I gotta arbitrarily bash a bunch of fucking China. Don't know why. 
but uh, Pee Wee over here, Pee Wee's Playhouse, uh, ended up being a china shop. A black bull in a china shop, who would have thought? And I don't mean a black bull like a hung fucking porno director, I'm talking about a big fucking black-headed baby running around, tipping off glasses, trying to get a head in the jar so he can suffocate and not have to be in Bay Bay's Kids anymore. But the problem is I kind of fucking demolished that level for whatever reason. I, I was fucking jiving, giving off smooth vibes. Vibes and uh, vibes, I think was the anagram that was on that sign over and over again, like all work and no play makes Jack a very, very unvibing boy. But uh, fuck. God damn, I'm too good at Baby's Kids. How am I so good at a, such a bad game? Did anybody else feel like they got really good at a bad game and you didn't know it was a bad game until you were told it was a bad game like 20 years down the line and you thought it was like the fucking shit? Not to toot my own horn, but I kind of had absolutely impeccable, perfect taste as a young child. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, but rather a golden taste testing spoon. 24 karat gold. I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I actually kind of am struggling to think about what games I played as a kid that I really liked that are actually just kind of shit. I think like one of the first games I ever played was Mrs. Pac-Man with her perfectly circular thighs and body. I, and that was at a fucking peak. That was like my one of my first memories in general. I, I, I don't know why I have like eidetic memory when it comes to specifically video games. Everything else, I'm terrible, terrible. But I, I, I still to this day remember the exact layout of that pizza place just because it had a Miss Pac-Man machine in it that I played over and over again when I was like four. Oh fuck, I got times up. Let's see if it sends me back to level one. If it sends me back to level one. Oh, fuck. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Motherfucker. No Beavis. No Beavis. No Beavis. No vibes. Make Jack a very unjive boy. Uh... <laughs> So done punching John Lasseter. This is kind of mesmerizing, almost, almost hypnotizing in some strange, beautiful way. This is very engaging gameplay, I'm sure, where I'm just mashing, just mashing the fuck out of, out of why. I'm gonna run out of time again. Okay, let, let's try. Oh, oh shit, you could pick up items? You have to crouch on them for some stupid r I have a basketball! Oh, damn. Things just got real in Bebe's kids. I don't know how to fucking use it, though. I've tried every button. Is it select? No. Is it A? No. Y? No. X? No. But actually being able to pick up items, this is... This is legendary. This is what we play for. These are the moments in gaming that we all strive to hit. The highs, the dizzying lows, and everything in between. All the beavises and vibes you can shake a black leg at. That's right. I said it. Black leg. Not not colored leg. What is it? People of colored leg. I don't know. Whoa! Holy shit! How the fuck did I do that? This game- OH! HOLY SHIT! There's other button- there's- there's other hits in this game. I had no idea. This game just turned into like a fucking 10 out of 10. I'm learning so many things about Bebe's kids. I don't know, maybe I should subject Spurgle to this. I feel like he kind of just deserves it, you know? He always bitches and moans about how bad the games we play are, and I just, I feel like I need to, need to raise his constitution a little bit. His endurance, 
is very flagging, which is exactly why he's not on this episode, because he doesn't know how to fucking stay awake for 20 goddamn minutes. The guy was forgetting words, like some sort of geriatric dementia patient. He, he, he didn't even know how to count to five after we played a little bit of Baby's Kids. You know what? I can count to five. I can count all the way up to nine, which is the amount of points I fucking need for this. You know, it, I just think that uh, I'm just a Karya being is all. Hitler had it wrong. It wasn't about blonde hair, blue eyes. It was whether or not you could withstand more than 20 minutes of Bebe's kids. And I think we can, you and I, the viewer that has actually stayed with me up into this point, up to this, the second level of Bebe's kids for the second time, I think you and I both can say with the utmost certainty and very little waver in our voices that yes, we are the Ubermensch for being able to play through Bebe's kids. 20 minutes. We're almost at the 20 minute mark. Depends how much I actually cut out because it, I'm fucking shit at commentary without my my right hand man, my my second musketeer of the two musketeers. I think you know what I think it is is that the spawns are actually random in this game. Uh, they they have like a I think a, a set number of spawns, but what actually spawns is randomized. So you can get Bill Clinton over here. Or you can get uh, one of the dogs, or you can get the mouse costume motherfucks, the John Lasseter bastards, and it's completely random which ones you get. And I think I got just really bad RNG, or at least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. God damn it! I knew Bill Clinton was fucking handsy, but this is beyond the pale. Why are they blowing smoke rings? Well, I guess a piece of software made by Motown, it would make sense for them to have banging fucking music. Good fucking shit. I just wish I could open the door. Is that a cool meter up there? Is it... Does that mean I'm still cool then? Oh, fuck! There's games in 2015 that don't even... Or 2020, even, that don't have reflections and mirrors. Watch out, Duke Nukem. Here comes Bebe's kids. Fuck, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, though. I'm gonna run out of time. Do I have to kill that bat, maybe? Damn, this is terrible. It's like a frame rate of two. I I can't I've tried every fucking button. I yeah, don't know. I'm stuck in here for all eternity. What what worked there? Oh god, I'm I'm mad. Oh, you have to hold up. You can't just press up. Right? It only works on some doors, I guess. Come on, Bebe's kids. I know you're better than that. God, fuck you, mummy. It's the man, everybody. All right. Uh, well, I think that's Bebe's kids. Everyone, I don't... I don't think anyone wants to watch anymore. I had enough endurance to not just be an ubermensch, but Hitler himself, might I add. All right, that was a, a single jerk. And, uh, yeah, I'm Jersel. And nobody else. Avi de Zen.
I want my money back. 